In this history short, we will be examining the impact of the 13th Amendment. On December the 6th, 1865, the 13th Amendment, abolishing slavery in the United States, became law. How did former slaves react to their newfound freedom? Across the South, many African American couples immediately sought to renew their wedding vows. Although marriage was not at all uncommon under slavery, the laws in southern states did not recognize these marriages as being legitimate. Others, who had not been allowed to marry before, also rushed to exchange vows. Many freedmen also set out to find relatives they had not seen in years. Families had often been separated by slave traders, and newspaper ads appeared across the South seeking out relatives who had been sold away into other counties or even states. When families could not be completely reunited, many adopted the children of close relatives as their own. Many African Americans also sought out new professions, hoping to escape being forced to work in the fields of their former owners. Large numbers of freedmen moved away from the predominantly white areas they had been enslaved in to areas with larger African American populations. Others moved to test their newfound freedom, celebrating the fact that they could travel freely for the first time without papers from their former owners. This freedom to travel without permission was the first step in a long road toward legal equality for African Americans. In the Reconstruction Era South, the liberty to travel was the very symbol of freedom for many. I must go, one South Carolina woman insisted. If I stay here, I will never know I am free. Many freedmen dropped their slave nicknames and took on new names as a way of separating themselves from their former owners. Names such as Freeman and Washington were common. Some insisted on being called Mr. or Mrs. as a matter of respect. Still, the question remained, would this newfound freedom mean equal economic and political rights for African Americans? A freedman named Henry Adams put it this way, If I cannot do like a white man, I am not free.